All right, so I got a question that came in. It says, any tips or suggestions for me? Working to get my license at 28, a little nervous, but I know I want to drive, right? So the first thing that I could tell you about this is it's okay to be nervous, right? It's okay to be a little fearful that you're about to get out there on the road. It's a big responsibility. But what you have to be always aware of is that you have to account more so on what others are going to be doing more than what you're going to be doing. So what that means is that you have to be constantly looking around the vehicle, checking all of those blind spots, making sure that you're looking at the vehicles around you, um, taillights, uh, looking at when they put on their blinkers, making sure that you aren't following too closely behind the vehicle ahead of you, right? Making sure that when you are pressing down on that brake pedal, you're utilizing the top of that foot. Don't want to be lifting your foot up, pressing down on it too hard. That could be uh, very, very hard on the car, very hard on the brake. Um, remembering where your hand position is so that you're able to make nice, smooth turns. Right, A lot of times, if you don't have those hands turn on that wheel properly, and you go to turn that wheel, and you aren't using the right hand technique, you won't have the proper, you know, turn that you need <clears throat> in order to uh, keep that vehicle in your path of travel right so just check all of that out um man it's honestly if you've been go-kart racing controlling a vehicle is easy right it's really anticipating what others are going to be doing and another thing get familiar with what those road signs mean right we got three different types of signs out there we got God signs, right? Those are the green ones, guide you around everywhere. Then you got your uh, regulatory signs. Those are the ones that regulate what you're gonna be doing. Stop, do not enter, speed limit, all of that stuff. Then you got your warning signs. Gotta be looking out for those. Those are the yellow diamonds, normally tell you when the curve coming up, a stop ahead. Uh, you got your historic signs. Those are normally blue. I mean, um, brown. Showing you where like the parks and stuff at. So get familiar with the signs. Know what the different pavement markings mean. The difference between white, yellow, all that stuff. And you'll be good to go. You keep watching my videos, man. But hope that helps. Let me know when you get your license. 28 is never too late. You got it.